Hi friends and welcome to our Ignatian Wisdom of the Day. I continue my series on making wise choices from the thoughts of Margaret Silf, author of the book Inner Compass, an, an invitation to Ignatian spirituality. Today's theme is trusting the inner compass. And she says this, when you are on a mountainside and the fog descends, the only way to be sure of finding the right trail is to use your map and compass. But as many climbers have learned to their cost, we tend to think we know better than the compass. The compass points one way, but surely we think we came up the path over there. Perhaps there is something wrong with a compass. And so we rationalize our own faulty memories of where the path might be. Or perhaps we talk each other into taking a wrong turn. And perhaps we end up in the wrong valley or worse. When we are making important decisions, we need to trust the inner compass. It will guide us more surely than our reactions to the immediate conditions or the advice of panicking friends. What helps us read this mysterious inner compass? It may surprise you to learn that your feelings can be your teachers. Feelings? Such fickle things? Yes, indeed, they are fickle. But they tell us the truth, nevertheless, about where we really are at the time. Imagine a sandy beach. You want to walk on it safely. But part of the beach is composed of quicksand. In other parts, there is rock beneath the sand. The sand looks the same everywhere. So how do you know where the rock is and where the quicksand is? The answer is usually from experience. You learn where the quicksand is by feeling your feet being sucked down and the fear that grips you when this happens. You notice where it is safe to walk by feeling the firm rock supporting your steps. You won't forget those feelings. They will be your trustworthy guides whenever you walk on the beach. And so my friends, I invite us to pray. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, my friends, and have a wonderful day.